Hello everyone and welcome to the Vortex, where lies and falsehoods are trapped and exposed. I'm Michael Vorce. Just a quick note for Catholics in the Orange County area in Southern California, Real Catholic TV will be in Irvine, California, Orange County this coming Saturday, October 15th for a day-long conference on the Laity sponsored by the wonderful people at Truly Catholics. We've attached a link on this page with the email address so that you can register. Please try and attend and support their efforts. They're good Catholics trying to make a difference. Again, all the info is on the links on this page. Now, we said yesterday this campaign was going to be fun, and we weren't kidding. A whole lot of stuff is coming to light and coming into the public marketplace of ideas and discussions, and this is awesome. It's perfect. It's great. It's exactly what needs to happen because too many bad ideas and stupid arguments and philosophies have been allowed to go unchallenged. But now that's changing. The presence of a Mormon in the race, Mitt Romney, has opened up a can of worms as we saw last week when a Baptist minister said Mormons aren't Christians. See yesterday's Vortex for more on that. This presents an opportunity for meaningful, fruitful dialogue to occur now, to use the term that sneaky or naive modernist Catholics have made a career out of. So bring it on. Let's dialogue. Religion is becoming a kind of hot issue in this election, and it should be. In fact, it is the topic that needs to be discussed and hashed out and settled once and for all. That's because the prevailing cultural mindset is that diversity among religions is great. But diversity among religions actually gets you nowhere. It might, might look like a cool and chic idea on a bumper sticker, but in practice it has wreaked havoc on the culture because the bastard stepchild of religious diversity is moral relativism a fancy expression for nothing other than the denial of objective truth. When a culture denies objective truth, either the very existence of it or any way of actually knowing it, then that culture becomes what we now have shaping up all over Western civilization, a culture committing suicide because it has committed cultural deicide. No civilization can long survive where half the population accepts the killing of children while the other half opposes it. No civilization can long survive where half the population accepts the evil of homosexual marriage and the other half opposes it, just as no civilization can survive where half accept the evil of slavery and the other half oppose it. Abraham Lincoln understood this when he said, I believe this government cannot endure permanently half slave and half free. It will become all one thing or all the other. He was, of course, referring to America. And it took a long, bloody war to finally settle the issue. Just as then the immorality of slavery was a dictate of natural law and religions announced it, so too these perilous issues of our own day, the sanctity of life, the sanctity of marriage, derive from the same realms of the natural law and religions merely announce these truths. They just point to them. They don't create them. But here is the problem. So many religions today, and in America that largely means Protestantism, have abandoned their fealty, their loyalty to the natural law and gone down their own paths. Not one of the Protestant faiths has it all correct. Where one preaches the evil of abortion and perhaps divorce and remarriage and even perhaps the intrinsic evil of premarital sex, it turns a blind eye to the intrinsic moral evil of contraception or homosexual marriage and so forth. Not one Christian faith comes down squarely on the side of the natural law on every single issue except the Catholic Church. That's owing largely to the promise made by our blessed Lord at the Last Supper when he told his apostles he would send us the Holy Spirit who would lead them to all truth. What this all means is pretty simple, but an anathema to contemporary man. Only one of these religions can be right in its teachings and the corollary that follows is also horrifying to that same contemporary man. All the others are wrong. The question is only a matter of degree. Some are very, very wrong. Others are less so. But all of them are wrong, except one. That is why the great debate that needs to be had in this country is not how much of a tax cut should there be, or what needs to be cut or funded in the next budget battle. All of those types of choices will become clear enough although still somewhat debatable, once the fundamentals are straightened out. And right now, the fundamentals aren't anywhere near close to being straightened out. 
For example, are we a nation that wants some of its young males being raised by two lesbians? Are we a nation that accepts about a million of its young perish in the womb each year? These questions have not yet been answered even though in practice the nation is proceeding as though those things are acceptable. There needs to be a good old-fashioned religious war in America, not a bloody conflict, but a spiritual battle waged between these competing faiths, these competing views of morality and understanding of the natural law. It is a mockery of man's intellect to celebrate a so-called diversity of religious views which results in a moral, political, and civic stagnation where everything is accepted as viable no matter how right or wrong it may be. To weave such contradiction into the fabric of a culture will spell the end of that culture. So bring on the holy wars and let's settle this issue once and for all. God love you. I'm Michael Voris. Please help us keep delivering these kinds of messages that so desperately need to be heard and acted on. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber. Become immersed in the faith established by Jesus Christ. The Catholic Church is the only hope against evil because that is its God-given mission. As our Lord said, apart from me, you can do nothing. Join RealCatholicTV.com today as a premium subscriber and come to learn and love Christ more deeply.